morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I'm so glad you're here today. Hope the caregivers will stay with us and support the program and give it more meaning to be more meaningful to your children. So here we go. Let's all sing together and uh, let's see how nicely you can sing with me. Okay. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. That's right. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And that's a fact. The more friends you have, the more <clears throat> the happier you're going to be. Right. Real friends, though, real friends, not just pretend friends. <clears throat> well, look at this old man. I know a lot about old men, yeah. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my, what's this, thumb? With a knick-knack, paddywhack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my shoe. With a knick-knack, paddywhack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three, he played knick-knack on my knee. With a knick-knack, paddywhack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four, he played knick-knack on my door. With a knick-knack, paddywhack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five, he played knick-knack on my beehive. With a knick-knack, paddywhack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. They give a bone this way, right? Granny Jean is getting a little bit ditzy here. What do you think, huh? You see this old man? My sister made him, she crocheted him, and he has old bumps all over him. So he really looks like he played with a beehive, doesn't he? With all those stings on him. Oh, you silly man. <clears throat> well, here's something really silly. I love being silly. I'm gonna wrap myself in paper. I'm gonna dub myself with glue. Stick some stamps upon my head. I'm gonna mail myself to you. I'm gonna tie me up in red string. I'm gonna tie root blue ribbons too. I'm gonna climb up in my mailbox. I'm gonna mail myself to you. When you see me in your mailbox, cut the string and take me out. Wash the glue from off my fingers. Stick some bubble gum in my mouth. Take me out of my wrapping paper. I'll wash the stems from off my head. And fill me up with ice cream soda. Tuck me in my nice warm bed. I'm gonna wrap myself in paper. I'm gonna dab myself with glue. Stick some stamps upon my head. I'm gonna mail myself to you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be silly? Oh, that would be so much fun to come and see you. Hmm? Well, we can do that with our Zoom, can't we? Sure. Wizzy, Wizzy Wizard has a tip for all of us here today, an important one. <clears throat> After reading a story, ask your children to draw a picture about the story that you just read. And when he's finished, then <clears throat> write the words, his words, to ask him oh, what, the, what the story was about using his words. And then when you read it back to him, <clears throat> you can also include some of your own words uh, to increase his vocabulary. And it will give him uh, or her a, uh, <clears throat> a, a, a step up in their language development. <clears throat> well, the first book I have today is, How Are You Feeling? I have some fish here and it looks like they're feeling happy, sad. Can you make a sad face? How about a happy face? How about a frightened face? Let's see. Let's see what these fish look like. This is happy. And uh, the, the author who wrote it is Mies von Hout. And I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that co correctly. M-I-E-S van Hout, H-O-U-T. Happy. And these are all pictures of fish. 
and maybe we could maybe we could make the faces too. But all these fish are going to have faces. This face is curious. Oh, I wonder what that is. What is that over there? Hmm. Curious. Oh, <laughs> this fish is nervous. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been here before. Nervous. Hmm. Not sure about that. Brave, but I'm going to be going there anyway, and I'm going to be brave. I'll be fine. Shy. Oh, I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't. I don't want to talk to you. No, I'm shy. You'll get to know me soon. Look who just pulled in the driveway. Wow, Grandma and Grandpa, what a surprise. Huh? Sad. Oh, my favorite toy broke. I'm sad. Are you sad? Let's see your sad face. Curious. I found out that my little brother broke my toy. I'm furious. Hmm. Can you make a furious face? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, uh, proud. I fixed it. I fixed it all by myself. Yeah. <clears throat> Jealous. Oh, a new baby in the house. Oh, getting a lot of attention. I used to get all the attention, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. Jealous. A loving, look at that. Just a loving, loving fish. Oh, angry. If I have peas again tonight, I'm going to be angry. Mm. I don't want peas. Oh, yes, I do. <clears throat> Glad. Oh, good. No peas tonight. Yay. <laughs> peas are good. Peas are good. <clears throat> Confused. Oh, my. Oh, my. Is today Tuesday? Oh, my goodness. No, it's Wednesday. Oh, my goodness. Well, that does look a little like uh, Granny Jean, doesn't it? <laughs> In fact, it looks a little bit too much like Granny <laughs> Jean. <clears throat> Content. I'm sitting in my rocking chair, rocking with my quilt. Happy as can be, rocking back and forth. I'm content. Ah, afraid. Oh, that was a big thunderstorm. Oh, I am afraid. Oh, all that noise. That's a loud noise. But I'm sure everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay because I'm inside safe and warm. Shocked. Oh my goodness me. Was that, what was that outside? It was a firefly. What is a firefly? It's a bug that lights up like a little light bulb. Oh, I never heard of such a thing. Oh my goodness, astonished. We're shocked and astonished. My goodness. <clears throat> bored. I'm so bored. I have nothing to do. Mom, no one to play with. Mom. Well, you have to do something all by yourself. And what did he find to do? Haha. -ha. He was delighted to know that he could find something to do all by himself and have fun. That's right, delighted. That fish is delighted. 
Gracias. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how we're feeling, right? Let everyone clap like me. Let everyone clap like me. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone make a sad face. Boom, boom. Let everyone make a sad face. Boom, boom. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Remember, let's see. Let everyone laugh like me. Ho, ho. Let everyone laugh like me. Ho, ho. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone tap their shoulders. Tap, tap. Let everyone tap their shoulders. Tap, tap. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone find their neck. Where's your neck? Let everyone find your neck. Neck, neck. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone find their earlobes. Woo, I've got earrings on my earlobes. Let everyone find their earlobes. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Absolutely. Well, the queen of hearts, she made some tarts all on a winter day. Ah, the knave of hearts has just disappeared here. The knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and with them ran away. The king of hearts, he called for those tarts and scolded that knave full score. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed to steal no more. No, we don't take things that don't belong to us, right? No, that's not right. That's not the way we do things. So here we go. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts all on a winter day. Where are the tarts? Here they are, they're little pies. Look at those. The knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and with them ran away. The king of hearts, he called for those tarts and scolded the knave full score. That was very naughty. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed to steal no more. Oh no, stealing is not nice. You don't like it if someone steals something of yours, right? Well, I have a fish that didn't know any better. I don't know what my coffee cup is doing right here in the middle here. But this, this won an award. This is not my hat. Look at that little hat. And that fish is swimming away. Hmm. He's a very tiny little fish too. And he lives in the sea. Look at that. All the sea plants. Hmm? You see all the creatures behind me? Oh, look at that. I think that's a, a, a crab. And here's the little fish. It looks like he has a hat on his head. Is that about something? But here's a big fish. I wonder what that big fish is doing. This book is by John Classen. John Classen, who won a Caldecott medal. <clears throat> this is not my hat. I just stole it. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. That is a big fish, isn't it? <clears throat> and he probably won't wake up for a long time. Oh, was I right? No. It looks like he woke right up. Mm -hmm. Even his hat was gone. Do you think he did? And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. Oh, look where he's looking. He's looking at the top of his head. I think he might know. What do you think? <clears throat> and even if he doesn't, does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know it was me who took it. Ah, he looks a little bit what? 
Ah, angry, doesn't he? Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Where's your angry face? And if a C does guess it was me, he won't know where I'm going. Well, it looks like he knows something. Hmm? There he goes, the big fish. <clears throat> but I will tell you where I'm going. I am going where the plants <clears throat> grow big and tall and close together. It is very hard to see in there. Nobody will ever find me. There he is going with a little teeny hat. There is someone who saw me already, but he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way I went. There's a little crab there, huh? Uh, <clears throat> so I am not worried about that. And what is that little crab doing? He's pointing the fish in the direction where I went. <clears throat> I, I know it's wrong to steal a hat. I know it does not belong to me, but I'm going to keep it. It was too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. Uh-oh. That's not a, that's not being a big boy. No. And look, I made it. <clears throat> Where the plants are big and tall and close together. Look at that. Am I be safe there? I don't know. I knew I was going to make it. But look who's following right behind. And there I am. <laughs> <clears throat> Nobody will ever find me. There goes the big fish. <clears throat> oh, look at that. That's pretty hard to find anything in there, right? You think the big fish will find his hat? Ah, big fish came out. And that crab looks surprised, doesn't he? Uh, look what he has on his head. He has his hat back. No, it's not right to take things that don't belong to you. Absolutely not. This is not my hat by John Klassen. <clears throat> Well, a couple days ago was Valentine's Day and all my Valentines got sent back because I forgot to put stamps on them. So my goodness, let's put the stamps on, shall we? Okay, come on, let's get them in stamps and back in the mail. One little, two little, three little Valentines, four little, five little, six little Valentines, seven little, eight little, nine little Valentines, 10 little Valentines waiting to be stamped. Now, here we go, gonna mail them. 10 little, nine little, eight little Valentines, seven little, six little, five little Valentines, four little, three little, two little Valentines, one little Valentine left to be mailed. Let's do that again. <clears throat> Help me count, here we go. You can do it on your fingers. One little, two little, three little Valentines, four little, five little, six little Valentines, seven little, eight little, nine little Valentines, 10 little Valentines waiting to be mailed. Here we go. 10 little, nine little, eight little Valentines, seven little, six little, five little Valentines, four little, three little, two little Valentines, one little Valentine waiting to be mailed. Yeah. Well, I'll get them late, but it's better late than never, right? Absolutely. <clears throat> well, way down south at the South Pole where it's cold all year long, there are penguins. And these are royal penguins. They're much bigger than a lot of the penguins we see in the zoo. <clears throat> One royal penguin, nothing much to do, 
called for his brother. Now there are two, two royal penguins, happy as could be, called for their sister. Now there are three, three royal penguins, wishing, wishing there were more, called for their mommy. Now there are four, four royal penguins learning how to dive, called for their daddy. Now there are five. There, daddy, there's daddy. He has a little hat on too. <laughs> okay, here we go. One royal penguin, nothing much to do, called for his brother. Now there are two. Two royal penguins, happy as can be, called for their sister. Now there are three. Three royal penguins, <clears throat> wishing there were more, called for their mommy. Now there are four. <laughs> four little penguins learning how to dive, called for their daddy. Now there are five. Oh dear, he gets sort of twisted around there. There you go, there's daddy. <clears throat> well, what were you like when you were a little baby? Maybe you even have a baby in your house. Hmm? You are new, you're brand new by Lucy Kinsley. Look at all those beautiful little babies. Look at all those little babies. You are new. You are new, new, not old, new. Hello, you. You are new. Look at that. <clears throat> when you're new, what can you do? Well, there's a, there are the babies, and they're brand new. What can they do? Well, let's see. They can do some things. <clears throat> you can look and see and peer. Yeah. You can touch and taste and hear. What do you hear with? Your ears, right? What do you taste with? Your tongue? You can doze and nap and snooze. It makes you sleepy being new. Does it make daddy sleepy too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, mommy's probably taking a nap, too. <clears throat> you can fit in tiny spots. You can, <clears throat> <clears throat> you get carried quite a lot. Sure, you can't walk anywhere, right, when you're brand new? Oh. You wear little baby shoes. It's very cute when you are new. A little Pete and their little cough, uh, cloth shoes, right? They're not real shoes. They're like socks. <clears throat> you can open wide and yell. Sometimes you make a funny smell. Mm. You uh, you get mad and scream and uh, and blue. It's tough when everything is new. <laughs> I can't talk and tell you what my problem is. No, so I cry a lot. You take baths. Wash off the grime, then get cuddled. Ah, cozy time. Right. You play <clears throat> games like peekaboo. It's pretty awesome being new. Do you think you played peekaboo when you were a baby? Huh? Every day, you stretch and cr crow. 
and grow, sorry. <coughs> you, <coughs> you learn sometimes, then you know, right? You do fall down when you start crawling around a bit, getting into, into things, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Look at you, you're <coughs> grown so tall. Look at that. Soon, <clears throat> you won't be new at all. Look at that. The little girl is now standing on her own. Right. She's walking. Right. She's growing. You're growing too, right? You're no longer new. <laughs> but wait. You will be new again. Yeah. New in the water, right? First time you've been learning to swim, right? Yeah. Maybe joining a play group. That's here. You're going to be new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll learn new games. Uh, you'll make new friends. Oh, careful. Careful of the cat. A brand new book <clears throat> upon the shelf. A whole new way to see yourself. You can pretend when you get older, right? You can reach for a brand new book and read about the about the dinosaurs, and then you can pretend you're a dinosaur. Right? Sure. <clears throat> new worlds, new places, new adventures. Ah. Meeting your new family member. Who's a new family member? Yeah, your little baby. Little baby, your little baby sister or brother. Mm -hmm. You'll try new things. <clears throat> uh, you'll pick new favorites. Hear new jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You might not know just what to do. That's okay when you are new, right? It's a little boy, a little, I guess a little girl, a little boy um, joined a, a group of people playing instruments. See all those little children playing instruments? And that's okay. And you can learn too, right? Sure. A world of being new is waiting, exciting, cool, and fascinating. Oh, look, look how curious those boys are. They are looking at a ladybug. Are they curious? Look at that. Yeah. <clears throat> and when you love and you're loved too, Just like that, you are new. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh my goodness, everybody loves the babies. And they love you too, right? Even after you are no longer a baby, you're very special. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, let's see if we can find a baby here. I don't have a baby, but I can pretend, okay? I'll pretend the queen of hearts is a baby. She like, I'm pretending. Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. No, not really. It's just a lullaby, an old lullaby that mommies would sing to their babies and try to get them to sleep. Can you pretend you're rocking, huh, in a cradle? rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will stop. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. 
Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's pretend. Let's pretend something else. Let's pretend this is a baby. You ready? Get your finger out. <coughs> this little baby is ready for her nap. Let's lay him gently in his mother's lap. Let's cover him over so he can peep. Let's rock him gently till he's fast asleep. Can you do that again? This little baby is ready for a nap. Let's lay him gently in his mother's lap. Let's cover him over so he can't pee. Let's rock him gently till he's fast asleep. Well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. I can't believe it's time already, but it is. So bye-bye to all my friends. It was so nice being with you. And bye-bye to the old man. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to my little royal penguins. And bye-bye to the queen of hearts. And bye-bye to Granny Jean. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>